Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So today we will discuss about the the basic steps, the main steps, which are involved for the preparation of backlight in the lab. In a hub of UG or PG graduate, undergraduate or postgraduate lab, me, yeah, common lab is available. Hai, usme kaise aap bade easy andaz me ya aap a backlight bana sakte hain. So backlight is basically a three-dimensional cross-linked polymer, जो बनता है from phenol. It's made from phenol and formaldehyde. ये दो main chemicals होते हैं formaldehyde, जिनसे हम बनाते हैं backlight, phenol and formaldehyde, and the process is catalyzed by acid and we can also catalyze the process by base. Yani ye do act karte hain catalyst. To aaj ki is uh, video lecture mein humne isse pehle bhi uh, jo humne lab mein jo already prepare kiya hai to uh, you can also follow that practical part jisme humne lab mein dekha hai ki how can we uh, prepare the backlight in just around 20 or 25 minutes or maximum 20 minutes mein. To isi ka ek theoretical process step by step hame kya requirement hai kya reaction isme involve hoti hai Usko hum dekhenge bade short andaz mein. So we'll start with, for formation of uh, backlight, we'll use phenol and formula and we use the easy method that is acid catalyzed. So with the help of these three chemicals, we can prepare backlight at the lab. So we'll see the steps. So what are the steps? So number one step. So what are the steps to prepare backlight in the lab? Number one. So what is that? We have to measure the chemicals. So you have to measure the. Uh, so we have to. Uh, we'll take glass spheres first. We'll take glass spheres like. So we have to take the glass sphere. Both easier. We'll take a beaker. Number one. That beaker you can take around 250 ml. So take a 250 ml beaker or 100 ml also or cable 250 ml beaker. Mm, and then you can take a glass rod for styrene glass rod. And then you can also take a, a measuring cylinder. A measuring cylinder. Uh, take it 10 ml whatever feasible so let's take a 10 ml cylinder and then you can also take uh, your uh, a burner type of setup sub heat this up we can take a burner a separate lamp see a separate lamp lab is sabse easy use karna with a separate lamp a jobi heating kelly available setup ho. The separate lamp is very easy so these are the basic things we require for the preparation of the backlight. You uh, require a beaker, 250 ml, a glass rod for styrene, measuring cylinder for measurement of chemicals, a burner. Uh, you can all you may also require a balance, analytical balance. The analytical balance here we can measure how much grams or how much milligrams of the chemicals are required. So this is the basic glass spheres and uh, the related setup. Second. We require the chemicals. The chemicals we will use is making. So we'll use the major chemical that is formaldehyde. Which our main chemicals are on my formaldehyde. And then use your phenol. These are the two main chemical reactants. And we can use the acid. So acid we will use glycyl acetic acid. Glycial acetic acid, acetic acid, glycial acetic acid, acetic acid, and we will also use the HCl, which normally available in the market. So these are the basic chemicals we will require. Now, how we will prepare this? Uh, that will go to the steps now. So the step number one is that. So step number one, we'll use, 
so what we do is you take around uh, 10 to 15 ml of you can take 10 uh, 10 to 15 ml of uh, I, I suppose you take uh, the 10 to 15 ml quantity is that okay you take just 5 ml of formaldehyde you take 5 ml of formaldehyde formaldehyde and that formaldehyde should be 40 percent which is already available in the market mein, that's made 40 percent take that in a beaker Jesse of your major that in a beaker that is your step number one and the step number two is that you add one ml of one to two ml of glycial acetic acid acetic acid and you can reduce the amount to uh, 0.5 ml or one ml tick and then third is that you add to this setup uh, your phenol from Jante it's like a crystalline in the bottle which is available in the market like crystals to Wahase and it's acidic also because it has an acidic proton so we have to take care here we can use the spatula with the help of spatula we can actually grind it and then you know we can take the with the help of spatula and then measure that weigh that on a balance and then you can add the phenol uh, to this the phenol will usually take uh, uh, so you add the phenol around uh, how many use kia that is two grams how many phenol use kia that's around two grams so you add that phenol to this uh, beaker and then finally what you do is you go on styring so you go on styring when you stir that so that it gets completely dissolved stir the beaker solution in the beaker to get a clear solution to get uh, it completely dissolved to get the phenol to get it dissolved completely dissolved completely uske baad you can use jo setup aapke paas available hai now take this whole what is inside the beaker the process so heat it and heat for around one to two minutes and you can also stir this solution with the help of glass rod you can continuously stir and you can heat this so or you can alternately heat abhij me se heat bhi de sakte hain wahan se niche bhi la sakte hain and you can go on stirring so when you see, you see after you see after around five minutes or less than that you get a white precipitate a white polymer is formed white colored polymer is formed polymer is formed and that white colored polymer you go completely you heat this you got a white colored polymer usually and that is your backlight it's a three-dimensional cross-linked polymer so these are the basic steps which are involved take five ml of formal diet around 40 percent of beaker add one to two ml of acetic acid glycial acetic acid sorry chemicals available with the lab may be poor up practical they suck the hey how many already we have uploaded this video also it's practical part in the lab add phenol two grams and add styring this time this week to get a dissolved solution completely heat it for a couple of minutes or you can stir also completely you know alternately you can stir and heat and then after five minutes you'll see the white powder solid mass gets formed so this is your uh a backlight a backlight may is your final formal data they can combine in different ways to produce different type of chemicals backlight co form can you do our main aim here so usually you have to take care of that so we are basically using acid catalyzer reaction where i'm stick is reduced got the scl so we'll catalyze this with the acid at second your ratio of phenol to the formula that should be less than one you're both important if you have a backlight banana 
थ्री डायमेंशनल क्रॉस लिक्विड बनाना है पॉलीमर दैट फीनोल टू द फॉर्मल डेट इज लेस देन वन और हम जो एक्सपेरिमेंट यूज करते हैं दैट्स वी आर यूजिंग अराउंड अराउंड टू ग्राम्स टू पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स ऑफ फॉर्मल डिहाइड एंड द फीनोल वी आर यूजिंग अराउंड टू ग्राम्स सो दैट मेक्स द रेशो ऑफ टू बाई टू पॉइंट फाइव सो दैट मेक्स इज लेस देन वन सो uh this is the important thing that we have to remember the ratio because if we change the ratio the type of polymer formed that will vary so now we'll go to the reaction the chemical reactions involved in the backlight formation hum zyada iske deep mein nahi jayenge so what we do is we take our phenol so the chemical reaction that's involved the chemical reaction that is involved in the backlight formation take your phenol h c h o or you can use a uh, write it down right with uh, you know without going to structure thoda sa isko jada deep mein nahi jayenge this is your formaldehyde so you catalyze this reaction in presence of acid thick h positive so what you will get you will get the uh, phenol this is your phenol then you got ortho hydroxyl methyl derivative so you get this ortho and you can also get the para product because ortho para position may electrophilic substitution reaction takes place here so you'll get oh ch 2h so you'll get both this uh, type of products in the reaction in your beaker so you are mixing this plus this that's phenol plus formaldehyde you are getting these derivatives ortho derivative you are getting this methyl hydroxy group in the ortho position and here you are getting at the para position ठीक ठीक है so you will get these uh, products so when we heat this uh, mixture because we are heating the system continuously when you heat this then you get a cross linked polymer and that cross linked polymer sometimes you can increase the acid concentration aap isme dekh sakte ho our video lecture mein jo humne experimental preparation lab mein ki isme we are adding that acid also in the end so we will get a cross linked polymer so cross linked polymer will get like this this is your phenol इसमें ऑर्थो पोजिशन यहां पे भी होती है वायर वी हैव सी एच टू ग्रुप सो दिस इज योर पैरा पोजिशन यू हैव सी एच टू ग्रुप हियर यहां पे भी दिस ऑर्थो पोजिशन सो यू हैव सी एच टू ग्रुप हियर ठीक एंड सो यू कैन जॉइन इट हियर and then you can have complete cross linked polymer here i will just show one part of it because ab sara to nahi dikha sakte hum board pe so we'll show up one part of this polymer
just let us just go and see make it a little bit correct one so we have this cross linked polymer now so this is your cross linked polymer aap dekh sakte hain ki ek ring mein kya hua hai a ring which was here a phenol ring this is your phenol ab ye wale side side mein bhi another part has got inserted yahan pe ch2 that has got converted to ch2 oh during its condensation fir har group mein you see at the para position also we have cross linked with the phenol likely it will cross linked to something else so this way we have uh, a cross linked polymer this is polymer formed this is your backlight polymer so this is your three dimensional cross linked polymer called as the backlight iska basic unit hai isme yahan se bhi you have another phenol group another group in this side fir ye yahan se connect ho jayega fir yahan se fir yahan se this will get a sheet a three dimensional uh, polymer this is called as your backlight so you have three dimensional cross linked polymer three dimensional network so this is your or we can say a cross linked polymer cross linked polymer this is called as backlight backlight so this is also called as a phenol formaldehyde resin so this is also called as phenol formaldehyde resin this ka isko further understand karne ke liye please go to the experimental part jo humne experimental video already we have prepared but this is the basic reaction which is involved is acid catalyzed reaction iska mechanism if you want its mechanism you can uh, contact me at this mail so we can also discuss this mechanism because i think ab is less time it will be too much to discuss chem at gmail.com so this is an electrophilic substitution reaction yahan se electrophile generate hota hai formed out plus h and then that gets substituted here and that's you have ortho and para product form which in further heating in presence of acid they form this cross linked polymer this is your backlight this is the basic uh steps the number of steps involved and the basic chemical reaction involved this is all for the day